up, peeps? I came to Franklin Square in Philly. I'm with my friend Kelly. Um, she was the one who went with me to the Sixers games and all that stuff. But there's this really awesome Chinese Lantern Festival here in the city, and there's only a couple days left of it. So I had to come check it out, and I really wanted to share it with you guys because it's awesome. Like, there's so many lights everywhere. Check it out. She's about to do a handstand snap. No, you know, I gotta do it everywhere I go. <laughs> so they got bubbly things. I wanna touch it so bad. Got oh, that feels really cool. It's like soft. <laughs> what are these things made of? Fabric? Yeah, it's just fabric. So cool. I know, it's really pretty. It's like a lit up garden. The fountain is even lined up with these beautiful lit up flowers. So cool! It feels like I'm in China. I want to go. I want to go to China. I've never been there. I've been to Korea, but not China. It was bugs, but they actually look cool. They're not gross bugs. My favorite is the zebra and the dress. Damn, look at their eyes. How do they do that? That is so cool. Look at all that zebra. Oh my god, someone drew this. This is drawn on there. Kelly, did you see that? They drew it. No way. Yeah. It's like painted. Put it on. Yeah. I thought you were trying to give it a kiss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In Philly, there's a museum that I haven't been to since I was a kid. It's called the Please Touch Museum. I feel like everything should be the Please Touch Museum because I really want to touch everything. Oh, we are touching it. We're just we're, yeah. out. Wait, why are we walking in here? What's this? Okay, we're forced to make, they're like you make, <laughs> making you walk into the store. They always do that. Oh shit, we're entering Panda Paradise. Dude, that panda under the rainbow is on a swing. Look at him, he's happy as shit. Where are you? Whoever designed this is magnificent. They created a seesaw out of like fabric and wire and probably a bunch of other things that I would never understand. This is crazy. It feels like you're in a like candy land or something. I know, it does. I actually feel like I'm in a board game right now. <laughs> get on it though I think it's too late they close in like three minutes I'm trying to make sure I see everything all the lights all of the lights all of the lights all of the lights alright the park is closed we're sneaking in the dragon garden right now because I didn't get to see it yet and this is the coolest the thing one. we saved the best this last. is so cool dude Kelly that's radical <laughs> Rad. we were talking about how radical used to be a word that was and then radical. We're, we're gonna bring it back right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad I waited to the end because I got to see this closing and they have like this huge, beautiful archway. And there's not a lot of people in it, but when I came in, I was like, I need a picture here. Guys, there's 
just like nobody in there now. They keep yelling, the park is closed. <laughs> of course I shut down the park. That's what I do. I have to. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. I have to tell you guys this. Kelly and I have just discovered that we've been basically robbed. Did, did you get money? I, I like. I, he asked me for like twenty three dollars. That's or exactly something. the like, same amount he asked like a me lot for. Of money. Do you guys remember back when I was in the city and and like I think the video is called Gina got robbed. This guy. I was telling you a story about this guy made up this huge manipulative story. Manipulative. <laughs> manipulating story. And, oh my god, it's the same story. What's the story? We're, we're, we're talking about the people that come up and ask for money and like how their stories get like really intense. And <laughs> the guy runs up crying, like like bawling his eyes out, hysterical, and says that his wife just got in a car accident. Uh -huh. And his son was in the car and he owns a bar in town. And like, oh my he would never do this. He would never ask for money. Wow. It's and like, the same you, like guy. I felt like, ooh. <laughs> I got that. I got that. <laughs> Sorry. And actually, it was one time I felt so I bad. felt I'm so like, bad. Oh my gosh, too. I don't even have anything on me. I truly don't. Like, normally it's just say it. Wow. Did you know I went to the ATM, withdrew money so that I could give it to him? That's oh. how bad he, he made got me you freaking good. feel. He got and ever you. since then, I'm like, every. I feel like everybody's a liar. Crazy that we wow. just figured that out. I can't out. believe you've been conned by the same exact guy. Same guy in a different part of the city. I know. It's like, they're everywhere. Yeah, and you know I went to the bar that he pretended he owned and- To see if he was okay. No, because <laughs> I was like, I realized that I got screwed over because I was walking around and he lied. He said he was going one direction to the, to his wife. Like I saw him like two minutes later. I pretended I didn't see him because I was gonna see where he was going. And he like quickly walked past me and then he like ran away. I was pissed. I literally rented a city bike, tried to find him for like three hours. Really, guys, I've been on a mission. I literally have been trying to find that dude for like an hour. I rented a city bike and I'm trying to find him myself. Like that, I was you're officially so nicer than mad. Me. Nicer? I was good. I was probably gonna do something very not nice. I just didn't give him money. I was money. gonna Philly chick his ass. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> All right, peeps, I'm back home and I'm super exhausted, so I need to get some sleep. In fact, I've been going to bed a lot earlier than I usually do, so surprisingly, I've been getting tired early and I'm not used to that at all. You know, like we would stay up till like four, three, four in the morning and I've been getting tired at like midnight or sometimes even 11 o'clock. I feel like that's like, a, I'm a baby. Like who does that? Probably a lot of you guys, but I, I'm like such a night owl usually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know that it's gonna take me a long time to edit it. I tried to get so many different angles and shots, which was a lot of fun. Not sure when I'll be back vlogging, but it was so great to pick up the camera finally. I missed you guys, and I will see you soon. Good night, peace on the street, son.